My review of the Harry Potter ride the, at Universal Studios. Okay. So I did the ride, the big Harry Potter one. And so now, let me say to the people that work there, my touching stuff is not the same as other people touching stuff. I touch the things you got there, not to screw with stuff like some kid. I'm touching stuff out of genuine curiosity. It's like I'm doing science, almost. Just investigating calmly the things you got there. You yelling at me not to touch things like I'm some jerk. You Okay, you tell me why we're waiting in that line for a whole hour and you got skulls and books all over the place. And an obvious regular adult guy like myself cannot touch him to see what's going on. Why the hell did you put them there? You goddamn security people yelling at me like you're the police of the world. You do not wish me to touch things. Then do not make me stand right next to them for an hour while people are doing the these Damn kids, I swear to God, these kids in line, they were doing the, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Over and over and fucking over. You can't hit these people or stab them, they're just kids. You gotta stand there with your fingers in your ears making a face, and then everyone thinks you're the asshole. They get to do that. The hand clapping. Over and over and over. And I cannot touch some jar with the powder in it. I should have fucking walked in there with a gun. You want to talk express lane? Days, here's my fast pass. Oh, the fast pass, the snub nose. Yep, walking right through. It's so dark. In some of that line, I could have paid. I could have done a magic spell of my own. The splashy pissio. All over the whole Dumbledore desk you got there. With his video picture going. I would have got out almost all my piss before you dragged me out of there. Make those clap your hands, kids. Smell my piss before you have to shut the whole ride down. So, is it that? Or do I get to bring one of the books closer to my face so I can just read the fucking title you put on there? Magical you who something. You put the joke titles. I want to see them. They got to get closer to my face for me to see them. Take a sip of coffee to calm down. Okay, now, actually riding it, I'm telling this here for the last time so I don't have to keep repeating it for park security fuckers and the parents and all you people. What are you supposed to be doing the whole time you're going through it? You're chasing these Harry Potter people on a broom, right? One of the brooms from the movie. Now, what do they sit you down in for this ride? It looks like you're riding inside a shelf. What is that? It's like a box for shipping people. And we want to pretend we're on a broom. So the only way to do that, you got to reach down kind of below where your balls are. You got to press, like put your fingers together and press upward. So it feels like you're, you're riding an actual broom. Like press up on your taint really hard. Then the ride is way better. Feels like you're actually broom doing it. Sometimes your hand flies out because of the way they're flipping you. So you, you just got to get it back in there really quick whenever you can. And it feels so real. You will make extra noises. Like I was saying, oh yeah, oh now I'm flying. All right. Now, in the other seats, there were these three girls at the age where you're really stupid, like 10. So they were laughing on the ride at the start. Then whenever I do the broom thing, I noticed they stopped laughing or making any noise. So at right at the end of the ride, I suddenly realized they probably think I'm doing a sex thing to myself. So here we go. The whole thing. Security guys, parents bitching at me. I'm trying to ignore them. Okay, just by, I get in line for the butterbeer. So they'll shut up and leave me alone. Then I finally turned on him and I started shouting that if I wanted to be a pervert on that ride, I could have done stuff in front of those girls. You have no idea. Oh my God. And with the flipping, 
You have no idea what they could have come out covered with. They'd be going to an insane asylum. The weird shit I'd been, I'd been doing, I could have done. Even with the restraining bar. I'd make that bar in, work into it. And what do we got here? What do we got here? Three girls? Mathematically, one of them is showing up in the porno someday. 100% that's happened. You know what? Maybe two of them. Maybe together with the same biker guy. And now the girls start crying. So I try handing them my butter beer. So I ain't even had two sips out of this $8 ripoff. And the dad smacks it out of my hand. And it hits another kid who wasn't even part of this. So I screamed at the dad. You want to push the stabbing button? You want to push it? Here it is. See it in my eyes? Push the button so I can start stabbing. And people looking at me like I'm weird. The guy spills an $8 butter beer like that. These people. I should have just gone chimp. Don't care anymore. Don't care anymore. Just go full chimp. So the Harry Potter ride, they got to do this whole thing over. So these kind of things stop happening. Because now they got a lawsuit, probably, if I feel like it. And now everyone throws money at this JK woman who never even wrote the books. She got some kids in a hospital to do it. Look it up after looking up my book on Amazon. It's called uh, Fairfax. F-A-I-R-F-A-X-E. Where's the theme park for my book? Okay. Thanks for listening. Nevergotfamous.com. See you on the other side.